Hmm. Got a TV advantage because of the two German, I guess. But it's still pretty much rookie chaos. So it's not good, is it? Oh, he's got two journeymen as well. Are you shitting me? Don't even have the TV advantage because I'm playing the one fucking chaos dwarf, the one fucking dwarf team with two journeymen in. Unbelievable. I guess plus edge isn't that good, so it's all right. He might be shit. There's a chance. However, the fact he's got two guys missed this game, he might just be a herped up base, 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 which fortunately with no block, he's got a good chance to be effective, hasn't it? Okay, I've got to put Jenny on the line. Ah, well, that's this whole point of having the strength four here, isn't it? They actually are strength three team. So, you can only one dice here. Yeah, okay, let's go. Well, they probably are going to get one dice killed, but... a ton of ones.
And do you know what? I should have put the warriors on the outside because then he couldn't have done this. It's fucking stupid. Just fucking stupid. Make a misplay, punish with a Kaz. It's just a story of my life, isn't it? Every mistake must be punished with a Kaz or a touchdown. Meanwhile, opponent can just make mistakes every single turn. Never punished. I've, al I'm al I've already mentally checked out of this game, which is not good. This is this is the hard thing about playing twenty eight games like Ducky or however many Christopher's played is just not wanting to play or being forced to play and then trying to play well. It's easy to just play the game and be shit. But there you go, I did the one thing wrong. Should have been warrior on the outside. He gets two dice, because he couldn't have two dice, didn't could he otherwise? Or he'd have had to get somebody blocked. And he's cast. It's just a fucking joke. Nine second turn there. Maybe I don't think others may be. I hate having to play a lot of games. Just need to forget about qualifying. I need to stop thinking about qualifying or trying to play a while. I just need to become Canal basically. I used to have loads of hair actually. I could put a, I could post a picture of my younger self on Discord. Where I look where I look a handsome man with uh, long hair. Yeah, it's probably what I need, Fish for Fat. It's it's what Dave or and uh, and what can all use, isn't it? It's a good it is a good idea.
be better. Oh my god, he's taken... Oh, it took nine seconds for my turn. And he's taken... <laughs> 244. I mean, fucking really. Fucking really. Thirty thirty five second turn that one. Long one that time. <laughs> it's okay, fish for fat. Play blood balls you don't have to. <laughs> He's taking fucking twenty seconds, he ain't fucking moved anyone. He's taken as long for my entire turn before activating a single player. <sighs> There's just no need for it, is there? <laughs> There's no fucking need for it. <laughs> Holy shit. Wouldn't it be good if you could just like, I don't know, if, it, if the fucking game gave you an electric shock every, every fucking second you took over, over fucking 30 or something. And then people like this would just be electrocuted to death. For taking this long, I think that would be. I think that would be fair. I think that would be pretty, pretty fair thing to happen to them. Yep, exactly, Mr. Yemen Dan. It is, it is a valid strategy, yeah. It is. It actually is, to be fair, if you're being ultra competitive, it actually is a completely valid strategy. It is a mental game, isn't it? You know, it's like... It's lame that you would do it, but um, it is absolutely valid, to be fair. Try to make somebody tilt off the face of the planet is a uh, certainly a valid thing. Oh, Crystal Hunter. Little does he know that I've got idle heroes to play on my mobile, so... Yeah, the four minute turns, oh my god. That was reason enough to quit Blood Bowl Tactics, I tell you. Fucking hell, there's just no need for it, is there? It's the extra 15 second chunks that kill you. Because, you know, if it was four minutes limit and it actually was four minutes, it would be all right. But it's the fact that these extra 15 second chunks. 
So this isn't even a fucking four minute turn, three minute turn, it's way longer than that. Hey, look at you. Won't Apo is loner, I don't think. Bet he'll make sure he takes the full fucking 15 seconds to decide, though. No, he didn't. He did Apo a fucking loner. What a fucking absolute arsehole. He must be watching the stream, mustn't he? That's the only excuse for winding me up this much. That was a really long one, that one, it 29 seconds. Fucking hell. I'm done mentally, and I was said I was done for the YouTube and it's the YouTube YouTube outro. I mean, it was a fair decision for winning the game, Apple and the Lona, but um, that's why I was happy that I'd cast the Lona because I thought he wouldn't Apple him. <laughs> But how wrong I was. That was good that you committed all those, but you must score this turn. You can't stall now, so might be able to 2-1 grind him. Dice willing. Which they probably won't be, but there you go. Yeah, it's, it doesn't have a bench as much to it. It is a good decision to win the game. It's just... Um, that's why I hoped he wouldn't do it, because it was a loner, you know. It was a fine decision to win the game. I just can't believe this guy who takes three minutes every turn was capable of making a good decision. It's uh, quite a shocker, isn't it? Right, gets turkey fag or gets the uh, gets the honours of <laughs> trying a touchdown.
Yeah, exactly, Clive. You're unlikely to take out, aren't you, with a... Uh... Oh, wow, touchback. Outrageous. Could almost give it to a warrior, couldn't I, and try to level him. Got to protect the uh, the mighty blow guy more than the ball. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. This is going to be a pretty costly both down, but few. Oh, good loner. Should have been a KO. Fucking dwarves. Didn't forget the ball carrier. Good. Turkey fag or is a really good name, yeah. On the AV8 guy, because I would have had to put me put him on the line. And it'd have been three, four, five, six, and I'd have been I couldn't have protected him, could I? So that was that was it. VIP Mr. Yemen down. Is because it would be it would literally be one, two. I'd have to put him on the yellow S, so if he got a blitz he'd hit my mighty blow. And then I'd have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and he would be blitzable. Or I would have to put somebody in contact or surfable or whatever. So that was it. It was just to protect the mighty blow guy. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be, but I just don't like. I just don't like my best players getting blocked when they don't have to be. So to me, it wasn't really a free blitz because I'd be getting my my mighty blow guy be getting hit back in response, wouldn't he? But yeah, maybe I shouldn't be so afraid. That's it. It's the sort of thing that they do die. Players do die, but obviously, if they get hit more, they die more, don't they? <laughs> so. If you routinely get your mighty blow guys blocked, if if your guy gets like, although I was incredibly unlucky with my claw pommer, and with a blood step tackler, blood step diamond tackle tackle guy, although I was incredibly unlucky with those, if you get your mighty blow guy hit four times a game, and someone else gets their mighty blow guy hit once a game, and someone else gets their mighty blow guy hit eight times a game, you are going to keep your players together longer, aren't you? Even though, like, even though, yes, you are going to make quad skulls against a, with a bull cent or bollocks like that. Sake. It's hard to get forward, but Chaos Warrior Ball Carrier is shit. Because you just don't have the movement to do anything, do you? Oh. 
All I can do is just base everyone. See, now he's going to hit me back, but... It's not going to be that easy for him to get two dice, is it? As it would have been incredibly easy the first time. I mean, two dice him, but it'd still take three dice and stuff. I haven't become accustomed to movement here, best fucker. I just couldn't fucking get forward, could I? I just fucking couldn't. But this one warrior is holding up three guys now to hit him. <laughs> Obviously, men down against walls is never good, is it? At least I'm string four though for the for the inevitable potato. Got one square of lateral movement available to score. Tony to Rid on the first block as well was tough, wasn't it? Can't try anything funky then. No, he just one dice instead. Of course he one dice powers, mate. Of course you do. Good job you took a minute to to fucking think of that. Well done. Good for you. Oh, definitely potato. Potato set in half as well when I've got no players. After I pull this. See, I get my mighty blow player hit and he dies. It's just what happens, isn't it? He gets hit once. He dies. That's what happens when I hit armor 8 with my mighty blow. See? See? It just happens every time. Get hit, but get blocked once in the match. Dead. 10 star player points. Dead. One block. That was why I didn't take the free hit on the armor 8 on turn 1. I really need to not want to fucking qualify. It's so fucking hard. It's so hard wanting to qualify. It's just stupidly hard. I just put myself under the pressure in that. That's, that's the killing. The killer.
<laughs> Every block is a failed block. Every turn is a failed block, even. Good job I had five rerolls for five turns. It's just, it's not even hard to qualify or anything. It's just hard mentally, isn't it? That's the thing. I just, I just don't handle it. I don't handle the pressure that I put on myself. But I just shouldn't put myself under that much pressure. But it's easy to say that, isn't it? It's easy to say, just don't put yourself under the pressure then. Well, that's the problem. It's just how much pressure I put under myself. I shouldn't. I should just play games and then see what happens. After I've played 20 games in, like, you know... It was base though, I did the blitz first. This DM and Demo said out to be a dodge. So yes, I would have done if I could if I'd done the if I'd done something else differently than I could have done, but could have maybe moved the the low net to here but then I would have needed the knockdown, so I couldn't really do it. To be honest. Three reroll, three warrior, one pest warrior, I guess. That would be way better, El Mato, yeah. It's a random shit idea, yeah. Actually failed something. Fucking hell. Oops, and he just moved him. If I hit just it's not done with a loner, isn't it? Is the is the key thing there? Do it just because I've got a reroll. <laughs> Didn't even fail.
know, I just need to work out how to not put myself under pressure. That's the key thing. Maybe I should just mute my mic during my turn. And then, and then there's no fucking temptation to speak. It would be a lot. It would be a lot easier if I had a sidekick. That is really, really good to be honest. It would be amazing. Maybe I'd, when I'm back in Germany, I'll just get a senai on <laughs> when she's not at work. <laughs> Yeah, but if that's easier said than done, you know, you can't just decide that all your star player points are on the fucking things. He got two MVPs, didn't he? It's not exactly my misplay or anything. Thought about not making the block, but he's he's an agility for runner. You got a block in, and he armor eight as well. Had to, had to make the block there. Oh, glorious milkman of death! <laughs> milkman of death is a great name, and thank you very much for the sub. All gonna be fantastic. Amazing that somebody would sub in my hour of need. <laughs> Completely disillusioned with Blood Bowl, getting shot on by fucking dwarves. And uh, the mighty poor guy's been blocked once and died. But thank you very much for the sub.
So obviously I set up to maximise blocks on the LOS, but then had to just block forward due to the fucking kick being so fucking brutal. Hmm. Half the time I get fucked from this. It's too it's too likely, isn't it, to get fucked from it? Oh, I misclicked. <laughs> I misclicked, I thought I'd re-rolled it. Oh well. Oh well, try to re-roll it. At least walls are really fucking slow. You, there's no time for that, it's a glitch. There's no time. Ducky's played 20 fucking 8 games in Champs Ladder. <laughs> you click the reroll on, on your screen, yeah? I thought I clicked the reroll. That's the fucking brutal thing. Yeah, the good thing is it could have gone worse. It could have like gone out. It could have gone out there, back in, over there. Randomly comes out over here somewhere. Which is really bad. Yeah, yeah, fun fox. I'd probably still be under pressure if I wasn't streaming. True. But the streaming obviously doesn't help. Thank God dwarves are slow as fuck, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's true, Milkman of Death. Yeah, that is true. That is true. That is true. Yeah, exactly, Red Joker. It's fucking stupid, isn't it, that, like, they say, oh, anyone can do it because you just got to play a game a day. Well, you don't. You've got to play fucking 28 games in five fucking days is what you've got to do. Yeah, obviously he's getting blitzed. Could do it straight up, but then want a bit of cover in case it fails. Still safe from it. Oh god, fuck off, man. This fucking clicking of these fucking players does my nut in. So still a screen. Okay, he wants to go back here. So now it's all safe, as safe as it can possibly be anyway. He's the weakest link, isn't he? Don't have to reroll this time. And got it. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah, I think a, a longer gap. Well, I th you know, I think it'd be better if because then people who didn't play so much could build up a team to say fifteen games in a season, and then thirty, and then forty five, and then after they got a sixty game season, they might have a fucking shot of making the playoffs if they had a sixty game team under their belt at the start of the season that was healthy. Whereas people like Ducky and Christopher, you know, they might have a hundred and a hundred and fucking eighty game team, but. They're going to take attrition in those 180 games as well, so they wouldn't be like just, you know, 3,000 TV. The problem is, is with this concession limit being manual rather than automatic, isn't it? Because if you had a 3,000 TV, well, a 2,000 Chaos TV, 2,000 TV Chaos team, you would just get a rack up a million concedes in the first day, well, not even the first day, but just the entirety of that added because people wouldn't get banned for conceding. So there was somebody who played like 80 games and got to see 30 of them or something stupid. It was eight weeks at first, wasn't it? But then because because Dode's stats said that the games fell off in the last two weeks, they made the they made the season two weeks shorter. That was it. I think maybe just random tournaments like Black Box would be better. Just everyone can enter, and that's it. It works for Fumble, why can't it work for this? Yeah, Johnny Derpy did, I don't know what happened. But I saw, it. I saw the result that he'd lost, yeah. Strange reroll. Well, it was nice of him to, as he strengthens this, to weaken this side, wasn't it? I've got to re-roll it. Make that if I try that dodge I'll fail and I'll I'll die, so there's no point trying anything. Yeah, exactly. Try that's that's my problem. I just get stressed to shit and hate the game. Yeah, exactly. Because Cataclysm, it's not auto it's not an automated five concede limit. It just relies on Dode and his cronies checking manually checking. Which is fucking stupid, isn't it? But there you go. Fifty one games played who can see the oh, it's a joke, isn't it? It's an absolute fucking joke, really, Jam Sladder. But I don't know. I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna play Pokemon here. This is doing my nut in this guy. This guy in his three minutes turns every turn. I'm up to the Elite Four, but I didn't get to fight them this morning. I've been playing Pokemon while I've uh, had to have my like toes out for an hour and stuff. 
So I've been playing an hour of Pokemon a day. Got to the Elite Four. Yeah, well, can you start? I guess you wouldn't you wouldn't bother checking in the first five days. You wouldn't think somebody had conceded five times in the first. That did show character. I thought you would have for sure based the ball and would have bet my house on it. Jimmy, when are you saying Pokemon or Pokemon? <laughs> Pokemon. What's my Pokemon? Um, Decidueye. It was my starter. Um, Salamence, Charizard, and Necrozma. And then two, uh, two Meowths with pickup. <laughs> wow. That's brutal, these starter. Yeah, it could be reported, yeah. Right. Um. So, I mean, if I blitz him, then he can dodge away potentially and can get two, two dice blocks here. So it has to be a blitz for you, doesn't it? Get the ball safe first. Outrageous. I guess don't have to. Oh no, no, I don't get the two on him. Then he could stand up. I guess him standing up is fine because it takes two more people, players to block him down. All right, I'm just going to stand up that guy actually. I think. If he blitzes and pushes him and serves him, it's only two players. It's it's probably too easy to serve him, isn't it, there? So I guess he's gonna have to dodge that warrior. This has to not be a turnover. God, these pushes are devastating at the moment. Aren't they? This has been a long fucking hard slog this drive to just get anything going. That fucking kick and then the fail pick up and then the having to pick it up again. Two players down. Rough as fuck. Yeah, worm throw. Spectacularly, the fucking. This guy got fucking blocked once, got minus AV. This one, I don't know. Was this, was this a nickel? No, that was only badly hurt. But that one, he got killed. Apple failed. Of course. Apple fails on every perm. Without fail.
Yeah, of course, Lanthrax. He gets blocked once. And killed that whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of. Except VGP. VGP is the only one who cares about the playoffs. Though, isn't he? That's the thing. They, they're just. They just fucking, like, they run things, alright, fair enough, they've all got experience at running things, but none of them fucking play in the matchmaking. Or care about the matchmaking or the tournament. If he'd left us an easy blitz, I'd have been tempted to dodge with a carrier, but obviously seeing as it's not easy to progress, there's no need. This is something else. <laughs> That's true, Wolfpack. That's true. Minimal, minimal competent opposition, that was it. In those 40 games, was it? 40 games of chaos? I played, I played Crucifer once, Spartaco once. That's two of the three losses. <laughs> you know? I don't know if there are any other good players, but not many. I mean, I, I guess a few were competent. I guess a few were competent, but, uh, you know. I guess a lot of the draws were against competent players, and then the losses were against the good players.
Yeah, well, in fact, he just he puts the hours in, doesn't he? And I just can't fucking handle it. I just can't handle it. It just does my nothing. So, obviously, that's just a problem that I've got, isn't it? Because he doesn't have that problem. So, I should be able to change it, but it's easier, easier said than done, isn't it? Frenzy traps himself, gets the double power. Well done. I mean, it was maybe two, two, two D uphill, wasn't it? If he failed the, uh, if he failed the dauntless, or a one dice if he passed it. Doesn't give a shit. Goes for it anyway. Never punished. Another one dice. Why not? So we're using up the full three minutes every turn. There's actually a chance to get something going here, isn't there? Because he's he's played so poorly. <laughs> right on on the crucial turn fourteen, there's a chance of a potato. Brilliant. Of course, it's a fucking push. It had to be. It had to be a fucking push, didn't it? <sighs> it's just a... It's just a fucking shit show. All I can do is just push people all the time. No, oh, a removal. All right. Ooh, a power. Huge. Had to be a power there, didn't it, from the loner? That's in scoring range. Three plus, four plus to surf him. Doesn't look good. Can't just let him one dice me though. Could just go there and then it's a... Much harder to surf. And then can just do a GFI later.
Wow, meu mano. That's crazy. I want to see what happens after this, but I don't wait the three fucking minutes to find out. Thank you very much, Mana Rays. Thanks for staying fantastic. Oh yeah. Thank you very much. It does seem unlikely that I'll lose you. That's true. And a draw against dwarves isn't terrible. Racial matchup wise it isn't that bad. Yeah, dead goats. Yeah, I was I was gone mentally from like <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's not turn one, but uh, turn two or three, I was just gone mentally. A huge block here. Oh, good, thank God he didn't power. Oh, I didn't even follow, what an idiot. Brilliant. Brilliant! Uh, fucking unbelievable he didn't follow there. <laughs> what a fuckhead. <laughs> right. Clicked. Oh, you can't! Did that? Did the camera move there? Fucking hell! All oh, right, at least it's not a GFI. Fucking hell! Could have gone to there if I'd had the movement. I guess I don't have to GFI this turn. Have to GFI next time. <sighs> Come moves, yeah. Slow down, that's the thing, that's the thing. People who fucking take three minutes a turn make you fucking go faster, don't they? To be fair, that's actually a pretty good spot for now because I can go for a dodge though without a reroll. The fucking camera moving is the worst thing in the world, holy shit. Stand up, you prick. Cause I can't make a fucking dodge. <sighs> yeah, the camera moving is is tough, isn't it? Come on, double one. I did it. No, of course not. Yeah, draw. Oh, 
a little rib crack there. That misclick. I mean, the misclick actually worked, would have worked out well if I made this dodge. Would have been better. But that guy would have been there, which would have been better protection, so. It was bad. The misclick was bad. The team's fucked man of race. There's like seven, uh, eight, eight, eight players. Nah, he can't win. I mean, well, okay, he can, but it's really unlike. It's not about having half a brain cell. He, he needs a lot of luck. To win from here. Probably would have just won dice this year. That's true. No, oh, there's lots of dice to be rolled. It's not that easy. Uh, worm tracks. This guy's base, you'd have to put him in and power him. And then if he follows or whatever, he's still going to make two GFIs. Three GFIs. Two GFIs. He's there. There's a lot of dice to be rolled if he wants to score. It's not just about having half a brain. Just one dice power, and that's easier. Yeah, of course he's just going to one dice power him. <laughs> Silly of me to uh, think that, <laughs> that anything except that would have happened. That horrible block there, by the way, just quietly. Ah, no, it didn't matter. I had a free beast, man. Not so bad. Yeah, it started to be a power, though, didn't it? Clear the way. It wasn't. It wasn't just a question of him not being shit. He had. He had brought dice to roll. Holy shit! Got a power. Cost balls in the tackle zone. Why wouldn't it be? I mean, he's got some dice rolls to make, hasn't he? That's all I was. That's all I was saying. It's not a question of if he's got half a brain.
Yeah, of course it was fairly obvious, but he, he didn't just score by not being an idiot, <laughs> did he? He scored by not being an idiot and having really good days. Which are two completely different things, you know, like there was the... <laughs> there was the one where De Beza just had to not stand next to the sideline against Andy Davo and he stood next to the sideline, you know? All he had to do there was not be an idiot, but he was an idiot. There was the guy playing Andy Davo who all he had to do was, was lightning bolt the ball carrier before he stands up a blocker and he stood up a blocker first. He's just an idiot. This is... Then <laughs> this was dice and not being an idiot, you know, which is too. That's a, it's very different from just not being an idiot. No, I I gave him the chain. That was a good, that was a good spot, wasn't it? Good spot from him. <laughs> One win and two draws. <laughs> Fuck's sake. One win, two draws, dead team. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Take block. Well, four loners for the next match. Not bad. <laughs> Sixty-six win rate is acceptable through the first three games, I guess. One, two, loss, one would have been all right, but um, the team is pretty wrecked. Um, I guess could buy, probably have to buy a Beastman now, so there's only three loaners. There's four loaners is a lot, isn't it? Um, so, but anyway, right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.